Hi, it's Anene Kalistus here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to record payroll expenses, payroll liabilities, and making payments as regards to payroll. Now, in this video, I'll be using the information for a company called ABC, ABC Limited, and I'm assuming that based on this table that they have just two staff, the finance manager and the admin officer. Now, each staff has a basic allowance, a housing allowance, a transport allowance, a medical allowance, gross salary, and we, we have the employer pension contribution computed, employee pension contribution computed, the payee, and this is what the staff goes home as, goes with as take home. Now, we are going to see how to record the accounting entries in accounting for payroll and how to make these payments. Now, after you must have computed the basic, the housing, the transport, and, the, 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 and gotten your gross salary, the employer pension contribution, the PE, and the take home, it is necessary to know how to make the right entries in accounting for payroll in your accounting system. So let's head over to QuickBooks, so where I show you how to record the entries. So in my QuickBooks, this is the chart of account of ABC Limit Nigeria Limited, and I'll be posting salary for the month of February. So for able to, for us to be able to post accurately, we are supposed to structure a number of accounts a certain way. Now, if you look on looking at my screen, you'll see. On the, on the, in the chart of account, there's an account called payroll expenses. Now, it is necessary to create four other sub-accounts. And these sub-accounts are basic allowance, employer pension contribution, housing allowance, medical allowance, and transport allowance. Now, these are expenses because they are being, they are made, they are made from the, the, the income generated from the and um, from the organization. Now we have another four, another set of accounts that needs to be structured a certain way. And we have this these accounts are the payroll are the payroll liabilities. Now the payroll liabilities is made up of the net salary, the payee payable, pension payable. So the net salary, the payee payable, and the pension payable are sub accounts, are sub accounts of the payroll liabilities. So we are going to make the posting now using the journal entry to account for the payroll so to do that we'll go to our accountant section go to make journal entries let me quickly clear this okay so i'll be making i want to make the payments now i'm assuming i want to make the payment let's assume well we want to make the payment for the month of march 2022 march 2022 march 2022 the the end of the month of March. Let's assume this is 30th of 30th of March 2022. We want to make so the first thing I'll do is I'll be I'll record for the two staff separately. So I'll start with the finance officer. So I'll come, I'll debit, I'll debit my basic allowance with 150,000. I'll credit credit my transport allowance with 100,000 I will debit my medical allowance my sorry my trans my medical allowance my housing let's do housing my housing allowance with 90,000 I will now debit my medical allowance with 60,000 now this you if you see on the credit side the credit side is giving a total of 400,000 and debit side 400,000 but we are not crediting this 400,000 to any particular account as a whole so this is what we'll do we'll now do we'll now credit our PE payable our PE payable but before that we must we have one other thing we need to debit we need to debit our employer pension contribution. 
or employer pension contribution. Or employer pension contribution because this is an expense on the part of the 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 organization. The employee pension contribution is a liability on their part because they are they are they are mandated to remit on behalf of the on behalf of their staff. So this is going to come in. The employee employer pension contribution, as we see on this table for the finance manager, is forty thousand. So I'm going to put forty thousand here. Forty thousand here. Then now, now you now my total debit is four forty thousand. And my total credit is four forty thousand. Like I said, we are not crediting this account. This whole four hundred and forty thousand to a particular account. So it's going to be splitted to our payroll liability. So now this is what we do. We go to our payroll liability. Payroll liability. Go to payroll liability. Our payroll liability. We we debit our PE payable. Our PE payable for the first staff was. 49 49 49 am i sure am i correct 9322.67 okay i will now debit credit sorry my pension payable now this is what i want to point out the pension payable i'm crediting here is the total pension of both the employer and the employee in my previous video i I needed to. I I mentioned that what comes here is the pension, only the employee pension, but that's not correct. After looking at it again, I observed that no, because the employer will be remitting both the employer pension contribution and the employee pension contribution. So what we take here is the total of both the employer and the employee. So this is forty plus thirty-two thousand. That's for the finance manager, and I'll get seventy-two thousand. Seventy-two thousand. Yeah, that will be my pension payable. Then the net, the, the balancing figure becomes our net pay. As you can rightly see, as you can rightly see here, as you can rightly see here. So that's what we have. So this is the entry for the first staff. So I can, this is, a, I can now click save and new. So I've done for the finance manager. So, yes, just before I click yes, Okay, let me just click here. I'll show you in the next tab. Now, so if I come here now, I'll do for the I'll do for the next the admin officer the same way. I'll come here. I'll debit debit my basic allowance with one twenty five thousand. One twenty five thousand debit my transport allowance let me check the figure for my transport allowance my transport allowance is 95000 95000 now debit my housing allowance my housing allowance is 75000 75000 i will now come and um, debit my medical allowance, medical allowance is 55,000. Then I'll now come here, I'll debit my employer pension contribution. Don't forget, employer pension contribution, not employee. So the employer pension contribution for the admin officer is 35,000. So I'll put 35,000 here. So then I will now have now come here. I'll come. I'll now like I said, remember I said we are not crediting this 385 to any particular account as a whole. So it's going to go to our payroll liabilities, but it's going to be split there. So okay, we'll first of us uh, debit our we'll start by our PE payable. Our PE payable is 41262.67. 41262.67. Forty one two six two point six seven, and now debit my pension payable. Like I said, it's going to be the sum of the employer and the employee. So if we add thirty five thousand to twenty eight thousand, we'll be having sixty three thousand. 
So I'm going to have 63,000 here. I'm going to have 63,000 here. I hope I'm right. Um, that should give me 63. Okay. Then um, the net bid becomes, well, the net bid becomes this. So this becomes the net bid, the net bid. So uh, now in the memo area, you can write whatever description here, but I'm not going to go into that. It's just a description of what these entries represent. That's what you write in the memo section. So when you are done and everything is okay, you click save and new. Save and new. Let me check something. Yes, click save and new. Click on yes. So now we want to make the payment. Now we've recorded the expenses and the liability. Now once the now once payment is made, now the following entries will apply. For well now, we're going to debit. Uh, we we'll debit. Uh, let's go to our liabilities because we are trying to settle the the liabilities. We we'll debit. Let's start with our pension payable. Now the pension payable here is going to be the sum of <coughs> both the employer and employee for both staff. So I'm basically adding seventy five thousand, which is the total employee pension contribution for the two, and the total employee pension contribution. So I'm adding seventy five from sixty. That will give me one thirty five. So I'll come here. I'll come here. One thirty five thousand. Then I will now and the next liability I have to set to is my PE payable. That will be for all the staff, both staff, and that will give me this plus this for both the admin staff 9585.34. 9585.34. Now the net the, and the la, and lastly. We we'll have to do our net salary. Our net salary is going to be the sum of both the salaries of both staff. So we we'll have um, I'll have my this is five nine nine four one four point six seven. So I have five nine nine four one four point six seven. Hope that figure is correct. Six six right? Right. We can find it. Six 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 six. So now come here. I'll now do now now I'll now credit the bank. I'll be making payment. So we have a list of bank here. So I'll be assuming we are making payment from our union bank, and that will be that. And that is what we have for the making of the payment, the entries for the making of the payment. So you can equally put your description as it suits you. Then now you now click save and save and close because we are done recording the payroll expenses liability. And the making of payment so so thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe share like so that you get notifications when i do other videos it's an here you have a fantastic day